everything we experience and every machine we've built, every system or object that is in motion dances lawfully upon obeying the principles of kinematics. From the smallest of particles and atoms to behemoth of phenomena like the circular motion of a planet orbiting the sun, aircrafts we see in the sky that tear through the atmosphere of our Earth, from a simple ball thrown from a cliff to the complex projectile motion of rocket ships, from a simple pulley system to compound large-scale elevators, from analyzing the rotary motion of gears in cars to building large-scale engine structures of cylinders and pistons, from a ball rolling down an incline plane to large highway systems with ramps and elevation, to our ease we owe our knowledge to kinematics. The objectives of this video are to observe and analyze a real-life application that involves the principles of kinematics like the swing carousel, to relate the principle of kinematics, specifically the uniform circular motion, and to create an experiment that revolves and relates to the swing carousel. So, what is a swing carousel? Well, as shown in this video here, a swing carousel is a variant of a carousel right where it has chairs that are suspended by chains from the top of the center of the swing carousel as it rotates and lifting the chair up due to the central pitot force. Let's take a brief second and see how the swing works. The ride moves in an oscillating and wave-like manner as the top rises telescopically and tilts at its peak. Once in motion, the wave swinger takes its riders for around 12 rounds and it rotates clockwise. Let's take a look at the physics behind the swing carousel. As for the forces involved, the swinger uses both the centrifugal and centripetal force. The centrifugal force is a force that pushes outwards when an object is in a circular motion, whereas the centripetal force is the force that pulls the rider towards the center of rotation, in this case, the center of the swing ride. As for the velocity, the velocity of the chairs are tangential to the circle, which implies that the riders tend to continue traveling in that path. However, the centripetal force acting on the riders prevents this from happening. With the centripetal forces acting on the swing, and the swing's inertia going against each other, the riders may feel a lift and motion towards the outer part of the circle. The tangential velocity can be defined as the product of the radius and the angular velocity as a surf in the equation below. Its units are in meters per second. And the tension of the chain cancels out both the centripetal force and gravity. This is to ensure that the rider does not continue its tangential velocity path and fly out of the ride. The centripetal force and directional changes in velocity creates a pleasurable and thrilling experience for the rider on the carousel swinger. Hence, the tension in the spring is equal to the centripetal force which can be defined in the equation below, where the tension in the spring is equal to the mass times the velocity squared over the radius. Furthermore, the movement of a body along a circular path is known as circular motion. Since the speed of the object is constant along a circular path, we can deduce this as uniform circular motion where the speed is constant but the velocity changes. And from this, we can create an experiment based on the uniform circular motion. Presenting now are the objectives of the experiment. There are three main objectives, and these are the materials that are needed for the experiment.
once this is done, the experiment was repeated by changing the radius length to 40cm and 20cm. Simultaneously, the load at the top end of the spring was changed to 200g and 400g. Presenting now the experimental results from the experiment, and now this is the time taken to complete 10 revolutions versus the radius of the string. And presenting now is the calculated data for the different masses and radius. And here is a graph of tangential velocity against the radius for various mass. And here is the graph of centripetal force against radius for various mass. Here are the sample calculations. Before analyzing the calculations, we've made a few assumptions. Firstly, the object moves at a constant speed and accelerates due to its change in direction. Secondly, the direction of acceleration is inward. This is also known as the centripetal acceleration. The circular motion requires a net inward or centripetal force. The air resistance and friction in the string is neglected, and the values taken are from the set of 0.1 kg and radius of 0.2 meters. This is the calculation for the period. It was calculated by determining the time per one revolution. And this is the calculation for tangential velocity, which is found by calculating the product of the angular velocity and the radius of the swing. And this is the calculation for centripetal force. By applying Newton's second law of motion, which is F equals to ma, for uniform circular motion, the acceleration is the centripetal acceleration, and hence the magnitude of the centripetal force can be defined as demonstrated below. And here are other real-life examples of circular motion and centripetal force. For instance, a car going through a roundabout experiences centripetal force that acts radially inwards towards the center of the circle, and the car moves along its tangential path, as shown in this video here. And when we are in the car going through a roundabout, the sudden friction force acts inwards towards the center of radius, and hence we tend to feel it flow outwards due to inertia. And now, from car A, we note that the car does not skip because sufficient static friction is provided for centripetal force around the roundabout. If the car does not have enough static friction, then a slight increase in sliding friction will result in the sliding as suggested in car B as shown above. And by using the concept of curvilinear or circular motion and by applying the respective theories in our daily lives, we were able to demonstrate and analyze the experiment by using the materials that can be found in our households. From the data and results that were collected from the experiment, it is deduced that the centripetal acceleration is affected by the radius and the period is affected by the change in centripetal force. Through this experiment, we were able to enhance our knowledge on this topic by discovering the working principle of kinematics, specifically circular motion. There are also many real-life examples of circular or curvilinear motion, for example, the swing carousel and the circular motion of a car around a roundabout. And that is all for our video. Thank you very much for taking your time and watching this.